Bobagang, welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE 2K23 My Rise and as you can see we shall be importing our female superstar as we shall be doing the legacy and unforgettable debut. So what about the high flyer one that we've been doing with Billy this as the lock? That one will also be continuing but I kind of also want to have this uh, in the background because I think uh, some of these matches might be a bit, uh, what's it called, like uh, integrated, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But yeah. So this is the other one. Gus Sigati High Flyer. We shall be taking this one next as well because uh, the My Rise has two stories. There is the lock and this legacy where you play as your female WWE superstar as well. So once we are, I'm thinking of uh, shortening one of the episodes of one of the, what's it called? I'm thinking of shortening one of the series that will be coming on the channel. So uh, we're going to be having two WWE matches occurring for week one feature, featuring below this as the lock continuing every saturday as usual but the other one i don't know this one might come on a friday to be honest i think i'll be making this on a friday but yeah that uh unwinded long explanation aside i believe it's time for us to start uh the very first ever episode of wwe 2k23 my rise but the legacy instead so this one will be happening as a preview to that match was an instant classic the but one on the lock which so, match of yours wasn't there a we go oh, here let's we get this Robin. started to point out that very real truth were you nervous at all me nervous <laughs> of course not i had that match on lock in fact, I was Check out young Cena and Paul Heyman in the background. My first day in the ring to my sixth championship victory. Yeah, so as you guys can see, this is the OG Raw. This is back way back in the ruthless aggression era. So this is like um 2002, 2003 areas of you know WWE. So anyway. This is Justine. I'm being honest, I actually had to Google her so that I could see who she was. I I was a literal baby when this was all happening. The WWE Women's Championship! Introducing the challenger, Justine! Alright, so this is our opponent who we are going for the women's championship against. Anyway, as you guys can see, this is all OG stuff. Like, like we have the OG, um, we have the OG uh, graphics. We have the OG interface. We even have the OG uh, women's championship. So yeah, this is going to be fun, you guys. It's going to be fun. So if you're new, consider liking, subscribing, turning on the bell notification. Um. I'm not gonna spoil the series coming out on Wednesday, but next week it's gonna only have two episodes. It's gonna have two episodes at some point because we need to we need to uh, start play bringing in two episodes of WWE. 
and as usual the my rise series gives you a lot of objectives to pass which i still find it annoying matches shouldn't have objectives but that's just my opinion it just let me complete and you know get this just get my matches done as well as i want them to you know Anyway, uh, so we are playing Molly Holly version from 2002, and this is Justine. So, yeah, 2003, yeah, the time frame looks like 2003, give or take. You know, we have a finisher available, we have to climb the middle rope to perform the Justine Jama finisher. Which I mean, I guess we can, but you know, ah, uh, not, not, not now, not now, of course. We have to wear uh, Molly down to points where we can actually do it. We probably get her stunned. Oh, so close to getting her stunned. Watch her reverse us. Okay, she did not. Thank goodness. Okay. While she's stunned, get on the second drop. There we go. Yeah, now we can hit this finish on her. Okay, we need to beat her and take the championship away. Okay, that was too easy. I might have to check the difficulty. It's too easy. This was too easy for my liking. I'm gonna go check out on the difficulty. Make sure that it was not changed. Because it, we, you guys might have, as you guys have seen, I have started a new save, so we need, really need to check the difficulty. But oh man, look at the OG Sm Women's Championship. It was not even anything about SmackDown or Raw, it was just one Women's Championship and it's the OG one. But as you guys can see, welcome to my Rise the Legacy, so, you know, it'll be fun. Watching my first title win again? <laughs> After you talked it up so much on your podcast this week, how can I not? Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic match. I just figured you had it memorized by now. Sure, but it's a tradition at this point. Is it my favorite aunt? Only aunt. Watch her most epic victories. And now also stress about what I have to live up to in my debut at Survivor Series tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which is super hilarious. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite niece. Only niece. To be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> but You really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself, don't you? Of course I do. I'm a six-time women's champion. Fucked. Would have been ten if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. Fucked. I get it. A main eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, All yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. Okay, you've made your point. I should get ready for tomorrow. That's my girl. Alright, so this is gonna be fun. So we are taking on my rise, the legacy. So numerous superstars have followed in the legacy of their, you know, superstar parents and relatives. So We shouldn't be shying away from doing the same with our created character as well. To be honest, I'm telling you, WWE did a good job with this My Rise story. The 2K22 the one was not so good, but this one, awesome. Secretly or something? The whole golf cart with the black sheets get up? Don't worry about it. No one knows who you are. Yet. No one knows who you are yet. Tom! Justine! And LJ too? It's so good to see you both. Same here, Tom. Wait, do you even still go by LJ? Man, it was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid, dressing up in Justine's gear, being her shadow, her little Justine. But suppose you're not eight anymore, huh? It's nope. fine. But I am trying to get known on my own here. I've heard. Good thing you're debuting tonight. The secret's pretty much out backstage. A few more hours and it'd be out to the entire WWE universe. You doing something here tonight too, Justine? Nope, just here to support my niece's big moment. Come on, surely you'll find some way to steal the spotlight. <sighs> Molly. Justine. Wow, I I've got a... 
I, I, I better go check on the, uh... Yeah, I got no good reason. But I'm gonna leave now. I heard smooth, you. Smooth, Dom, smooth. Beat sitting at home, talking to the internet. It's called a podcast, and it's very popular. But I'm not here to resurrect old rivalries. Would you really call it a rivalry if there's a clear conclusion and undisputed winner? I was actually here to greet our newest WWE superstar. Wish her luck. She doesn't need luck. And let her know that I'll be working with her to get her ready for her Survivor Series debut this evening. Awkward. Is that all right? No, that's great. I'm so excited to be here representing Team SmackDown. Great. Get settled and then let's talk. Justine. Please don't make things more difficult for me on my first day. Besides, you two were friends once. Sorry, you're right. It's just... Well, you know what she did. It might be ancient history and there's no reason for her to mess with you, but... Be careful with Molly, okay? I'm gonna go say hello to people. You alright? I'm alright. I'm ready. Yeah, you are! <laughs> I love you, kid. You'll do great. Alright, so let's see how we can do our debut. It should be fun. I think we can have a decent-ish debut. And hopefully, make it one to remember. So the legacy, we're, we're going to also see how we can compare about all these things, making sure it's fun. I think we're going to have a fun episode today, to be honest. Alright, so Survivor Series, Team Raw versus Team Smackdown, uh, Bailey's like... Don't care what idiot SmackDown is bringing, gonna wipe the floor with them regardless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, tonight I'm going to my 23rd WWE Premium Live event. So excited, I'll be the one yelling in the wrestling t-shirt. Sure. Uh, I have an inkling tonight's going to end up as a pretty big day in the WWE history books. Sure. Uh, hey, can somebody give me a ride to the arena later? And... I love a steak. I love the steaks of a good old-fashioned Survivor Series matchup. Sure. Yeah, it seems like everybody is up for it. Now, when it comes to upgrading our attributes, I have the usual 205 available points from having the deluxe version of the game. So let us start making our character that much more powerful. That's making her decent, shall we? She's now up to 86 overall, which means she's gonna be good. And oh lord, it was on easy mode. Good lord. Turn it to legend difficulty because, you know, we always play the game on legend difficulty. So, let's begin. I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. Who is you? Uh, why would I want to be? Why would you think I'd want to be friends with you? I know, right? Because we both come from famous WWE lineage. But let's be real. We're not the same. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm better. But You're right. I'm better than you, both in the ring and out. But Ugh. I have a lot of respect for your aunt. You, not so much. You're only here because you're cashing in on her legacy. But do not your best true. not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad, okay? Though it's gonna be hard tonight when you're competing against me and the rest of Team Raw. Oh, I wish I was on Team Raw and then the, these other guys are on Team SmackDown. I love Raw. That sounded weird. <laughs> anyway. Hey, nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. That's you. What? Isn't that you? <laughs> As in new S superstar in WWE. Ready to show Team Raw what's up tonight? You know it. You know it. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. 
And remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. Yeah, true. Yeah, they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. I mean, the WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related to Justine. And don't think I'm not going to fangirl out and grill you after we win. You got to tell me exactly what she's like. I want to make my own mark. Listen, I love my aunt. I even spent summers traveling with her on tour growing up. But it's important for me to make my own mark in WWE. Hopefully I can do that tonight. You know the EST is all about standing out, so I understand completely. See you out there tonight. We got this. We so got this. We so got this. All right, let's talk to Ava Moreno. Hi, I'm LJ, little Justine. Yeah, I overheard. How oh, precious. Yeah. I was actually going to say I recognize you from NXT 2.0. Ava Moreno, right? You had some great matches with Cora Jade. I didn't realize you had gotten drafted to SmackDown. I know that. Your famous WWE legend aunt hasn't been able to get you up to speed on everything. Honestly, we've been pretty busy prepping for my debut. I'm a little out of the loop on everything else. Who's your match with tonight? I don't have a match on the show tonight. Oh, well, it sucks to Not be you. All of us are able to skip the line, LJ. What does that mean? I mean, what's with the attitude? Did I do something wrong? What's with the attitude? Honestly. Let me lay it out for you. A girl named Ava works her whole life to be the best athlete she can be. Excels at some things naturally, puts in the time to get better at the rest. Gets signed to WWE, continues to grind at the Performance Center doing everything the WWE way. Makes a mark on NXT 2.0, wins her matches, and gets signed to SmackDown. Well, that's awesome. That's pretty great, right? Honestly, yeah. But, you know, what's your point? What's your point? Some of us work hard. Some of us work harder. And some of us, LJ, get to waltz into Survivor Series and get put into a match that the rest of us, those of us who have done everything by the book, would kill for. Sucks to be you. And we are not on nepotism higher. My aunt is a legend, but I'm good at this. I got here on my own. I'm not just Although some nepotism signing. It does look that way. <laughs> got here on your own? We'll see what happens tonight. Maybe you are good, and you'll prove that. Regardless, I haven't been given the same opportunity on this brand to prove how good I am. So excuse me if I don't play nice with little Justine, the legacy hire. Again, we're not a legacy hire. Good God. So much drama on our first day. Sorry I wasn't able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Xia Lee overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. How are you doing? Feeling good about tonight? Oh, yeah. Confident. Honestly? I'm ready. I've trained my whole life for this. All right. Let's take that confidence, earned or not, and channel it into a great debut. For what it's worth, despite my history with your aunt, it really is my goal to help you succeed here. You guys have some history, huh? That's a conversation for another day. Stick around here long enough and you'll have history with everyone. Box. Alliances, rivalries, heck, we even have our fair share of weddings. Although those rarely seem to work out. That is but true, they don't. I've got your custom gear ready. Custom gear? What do you mean? Honestly, I get it. I wouldn't want to debut in it either. No, what do you mean? No, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't tell me I have to wear some huh. stupid attire like in the I Lock series. This didn't get to you. But WWE management asked that you debut in a look that honors Justine's legacy. Oh no. So made gear inspired by what your aunt wore when she won her first championship. Not that that specific match would be the moment I'd choose to commemorate. Justine got lucky. We are not wearing an outfit That's from 2 or 3. I designed it myself. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to use my aunt's image to establish my own. I want to make my own mark. Listen, despite my personal feelings, it never hurts to get a rub from a WWE legend. It's also probably not wise to go against management on day one. 
but I know it's important to stand on your own two feet around here. Ultimately, the decision is yours. What do you want to do? Dudes, dudettes, everyone watching, you guys saw how that how their outfits looked like in two or three. We are not wearing those. I know it's not wise to go against management on day one, but man, we are not wearing those outfits. We are making our own mark. I love my aunt and she taught me a lot, but if I'm going to make it here, I need to make my own mark. I'm going to wear the gear I designed. But All right. We'll see how management reacts. Don't care. Standing your ground can really go either way around here. I know. But if you're determined to make your own mark, you better have the performance out there to back it up. Go get changed. It's go time. All right. Let's make our debut, shall we? So, Justin got absolutely hooked on wrestling after watching the women's championship match at the brawl to end it all 1994 and got in the ring as soon as she was old enough. Over the course of her career, she's held the championship six times. Anyway, welcome to Survivor Series War Games. It's Team Raw ready to battle for brand supremacy. The following Such an overpowered team. Tag team match. On the way to the ring, Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, and such an overpowered team. The superstars from the Red Brand are here to prove they don't need to play mind games to come out on top. Well, if you're referring to the fact that Team SmackDown has a mystery partner, I think that's just good strategy. What an overpowered team. These are easily the three best women superstars in WWE. Like, easily. The wait is over for the reveal of Team SmackDown's mystery partner and their opponents, Grace Ortiz, Liv Morgan, and Bianca Belair. Team SmackDown! Do you know who that is? The final member of Team SmackDown is none other than the niece of WWE Hall of Famer, Justine. The last legacy superstar I remember debuting at Survivor Series was The Rock. No pressure, kid. Ah, no pressure. We're about to absolutely dominate this match. Plus, we're it is an overall 86. We're definitely gonna dominate this match. We're an 86 overall even before beginning. Views in years. This rookie superstar could be the second coming of her legendary Hall of Fame aunt, Justine. No, we are not. By the looks of it, I'd say this rookie's here to blaze her own trail. Oh my God! Springboard moonsault. Oh, we got this. So got this. We so got this. Light work. Light work. Just pure dominance. Rhea Ripley in a state of kick to the middle. Oh yeah, light work. She certainly has the confidence of her aunt. Yeah. Looks like she's setting up for the Justine Jammer. She's putting her. She's claiming the ropes weirdly though. Classic. Not if Charlotte Flair is anything to say. Yikes! Oh no. Oh no. This one might include a hurt ankle. She's got a hurt ankle. Oh no. Oh no. With the elimination, Team Raw now has the advantage. What a letdown for the blue squad. Oh no. We didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope mishap and apparent ankle injury played a key role in that. Oh no. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. I actually respect it. Hall of Famer Justine is here. We haven't seen Justine in a WWE arena for over a decade. One thing is clear, the WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight in any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance. So this is not the best debut that I actually thought you were going to have, so you know. Uh, all my plans about dominating and being the best at 
totally out of the window but you know no not everyone has an awesome start to anything like not everyone starts off at the best ever level but you know you always try you always try your best to ah improve and especially for us who are basically at rock bottom you know the only way is up i hope <laughs> all right so uh team row one obviously because we let them down and uh, didn't hurt that it's cutting made it easy for us thanks newbie yikes um yeah so not good that's all i can say it's not good not looking good for us brave I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. Fucked. I don't know what happened out there. I wanted to make a name for myself based on my own talent. And you decided to do something showy. Took your eyes off of what was happening and let Charlotte blindside you. It's our fault. I'm sorry. I won't let it happen again. I got carried away. I'm also going to play this in a different Remember, way. You're here because you're good. And you could be great. I wouldn't have any patience for Justine's brat, no talent niece. But don't expect everything to come all at once. You could have gone out there and had a solid match, and that would have been enough, win or lose. But you bit off more than you could chew. Maybe you're right. He is right. Of course I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. But I'll do my best at damage control. You're already off to a rough start with management. They weren't thrilled that you decided against wearing the tribute gear. Although maybe I can spin that since it wasn't exactly the performance they would have wanted to be associated with Justine's legacy. Actually worked out for the best. No. Nope. Yeah, that's true. They'll just associate it with little old me. I've already seen the chatter on social media. Great. You're worried about social media at a time like this? Get your head in the game. I'll see you at SmackDown and we'll take it from there. Oh boy, we are going we really are going to SmackDown, huh? Yikes. And anyway, Justine. Did you hear that pop? What? The sound of my ankle popping or my career imploding? Oh, how is that ankle? Or more importantly, how's that ego? Ankle's okay. Ego? That's another story. You really went for it out there, huh? Didn't hold back? Well, we needed to stand out. I'm the niece of one of the most venerated WWE legends of all time. I needed to make my own mark and stand out. I still do. You need to take your time and not overthink this. But you're still learning and regardless, Charlotte acted out of line. If I was medically cleared for in-ring action, I would put the queen in her place. Believe me, I'm mad about it. But I'm not sure that Charlotte did anything you wouldn't have done. Nah, but one of the perks of having a career-ending injury is getting to apply unrealistic standards on the next generation. Why do you That's... think I liked training you so much? Right. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to leave if you need to talk, but I got word that WWE management wants to chat before we head out. Something about the buzz online, whatever that means. You okay? We are resilient. If anyone taught me how to be resilient, it's you. I'm fine. I'll talk to you later. That's my girl. I'll find you in a bit. <laughs> right, let's talk to Liv Morgan. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to me like that. You certainly don't always have a perfect night. Hey, yo. I'll talk to you how I want right now. You just spoiled the match for all of us. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are going to rub this loss in our faces for a long time. I guess. Anyway, to SmackDown. But what people forget is that for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It is better to win, though. 
Of course. Well, all is Actually, better to win. Speaking of winning, I have a few developments that Ruthless Digressions listeners will be thrilled to hear about. Oh. Care to share with those listeners or your co-host? Like I told my niece at Survivor Series. Patience, Robin. Patience. All right. First night on SmackDown, we put the, everything that happened in Survivor Series on the back burner. We don't ever want to think about it ever again. And I mean ever again. And what we shall be doing now is creating a brand new legacy on SmackDown. Where we'll go undefeated and win and never have to face defeat or a loss ever again. Should be fun. With the winning starts now. The dominance starts now. The only way is up. If we find ourselves going down a worse road, man, it's gonna be so sad. Anyway, um, so Molly's in a all hands deck meeting top management. Who wants? Who knows how long that will be? Uh, she's telling us to get settled and all the good stuff. Uh, nothing on our social media feed. So, lockdown. So we have do drop over here. Hey, welcome to SmackDown. Okay. Thanks. You know, after what Liv said at Survivor Series, I wasn't sure if I'd be getting the warmest welcome today. I love her accent. You won't be. But I have a different perspective than the rest of the girls. In fact, I'm actually usually pretty rude to the newbies because, well, I don't want them coming for my SmackDown Women's Championship. Oh, we are coming for it. I don't have to worry about you at all. Okay, excuse me? We are coming for that championship. But I plan on coming for that championship. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're hilarious! After your huge mistake in the Survivor Series match, I know that must have been a joke. No, it's not. You are coming for the championship. To you at all. We can be friends! No. I think we're done here. No, we are not gonna be friends. All right, let's talk to Tom. LJ, welcome to SmackDown. How are you doing? I'm sorry that Survivor Series didn't go so well. Yep. Yeah, not the debut I was hoping for. Not the debut I was hoping for. Well, you're here now, and have your whole career ahead of you. Listen, I may just be a cameraman, so I can't help train you, but I've been with WWE long enough that I pride myself on knowing how things work around here. Happy to answer any questions you might have. Nah, no, you're good. Thanks, Tom. I think I have the info I need. Yeah, we'll just figure it out on our own. Fantastic. Good luck tonight, LJ. I'm certain I'll see you around soon. Nice. All right, let's talk to Molly Holly. So, I know I didn't exactly get the best start, but I've got my head on straight now and I'm ready to go. Oh, what that's an understatement. What do you have for me tonight? Now, here's something that's less great to hear. WWE management thinks that after everything that's happened, we should take a beat before we put the spotlight back on you. Excuse me? Okay, anyway, because we did screw up and because I'm not playing this with my ego that I am playing on the other side as the lock. By the way, the lock one is straight up for me. This one, I'm going to be level-headed. We're going to say, I'm okay Don't starting worry. small. I took your advice to heart. I'm okay with starting small, out of the spotlight. I'm not expecting to main event right away. Good. If it was the other one, though, I would have wanted to I'm main event. Level with you. Backstage sentiment is not good right now. You may be a SmackDown superstar, but you've got an uphill battle if you actually want to be on the show. So, my match tonight is... Non-existent. Well, time to go home then. Ah. So, Anna, what can we do? What can I do? I don't want to just sit in catering. No one does. But this will all blow over. My advice until then? Find some way to make an impact. Be so good in the ring that they can't deny you. Yeah, that's a good How advice. How am I supposed to do that if I can't get a match? Okay, yeah, I that's true. I couldn't get you a match on SmackDown. 
there are other opportunities to wrestle. Actually, I can pull some strings and get you on main event. You'll need to find an opponent, though. Most of the roster is pretty busy with commitments on SmackDown, and I don't have time to play matchmaker. Pretty busy or pretty mad at me, from the sound of it. Yeah, I may have heard those rumblings. Although, have you met Ava Moreno yet? She's pretty new to SmackDown, too, and also would have something to gain with a good showing on main event. Uh, I don't think she wants to work with us. Huh, they actually even have that option. We've met. I'm not sure she wants to work with me. Neither of you have to work with anyone. You just have to show up and fight each other. Get her to agree to that, and I'll set up the match. If there's some sort of beef between you two, lean into it. No one said the match had to be friendly. She does make a compelling argument. Anyway, hi Eva. Well, if it isn't little Justine. I would say I'm sorry how your big debut turned out, but I don't like to lie. What do you want? So, let's cut to the chase. Let's cut to the chase. I want a match on main event. Molly said she can get me one if I find an opponent. It sounds like getting that exposure could help both of us. Are you interested? Yes. Sure. Great. That was actually easier than I thought. I know it. Oh, but let me be clear. I want a match on main event, but not one against you. I want to make an impact here in WWE and make my matches count. It doesn't help me at all to defeat some jobber. Hey, that is very insulting. I wasn't perfectly clear at Survivor Series. I like people who've come up the right way and paid their dues. Not nieces who get handed special treatment because of what family they're a part of. And if that wasn't enough, I certainly don't like you after you proved me right and made a mess of things. Okay, that was not Regardless nice. of what you think of me, I don't see how just sitting around and complaining is going to change anything. Fox. I know as well as you do that no one else in the locker room is going to help you. You want a match with me? Prove that you have what it takes when you have to work for an opportunity. Pay some dues and stop waltzing around expecting special treatment. I don't waltz. Nobody waltz. We can agree to disagree, LJ. Wow, our first night in SmackDown is even harder than Survivor Series. Good God. Yeah, about that. Uh, we messed up. Alright, so she's telling us that you're capable of navigating the WWE machine. No one said it was gonna be easy. Well, so are we just going to go to main event without an opponent or something? Anyway, WWE superstars have a unique relationship with catering. It's a great place to get a meal that caters to their needs, but a frustrating place to be stuck if you're not getting booked in any matches. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. You show up. And then you're told we don't have a match for you today, so you just sit in backstage, eat, and watch other people progress while you s get stuck in the same position. Yeah. Anyway, we've completed Unforgettable debut. We've unlocked the Raw 202 uh, stage. We have the same outfit as her. Wow. We actually have the same outfit. Well, you know, the. Well, part of the top and part of the trunks, but everything else is way different. Anyway, uh, when we go to the options, let's check our social media. Uh, it's working with WWE to secure her next match. They want to make sure that a talent like hers has the right first singles opponent. So this is Ruthless Digressions. Chosen is seems to be all over the place. Anyway, I got an interesting opportunity for you. 2K needs help recording moves for next year's version of WW2K and I'm coordinating talent to help interested you. Just have some mock up ring against another superstar and they record what you do your game so we can do that. Uh I've been thinking about your station and I can help get you on ring in time. So we have some more storylines that we can move through. 
Uh, there's no need to upgrade, so let's start with Ava and then we'll progress backwards. What do you want? I told you my terms. Doesn't seem like you've paid any dues at all. Okay, so we're not gonna be doing anything with Ava for a while. Okay. Uh, for a Jade it is then. Hey, what's up? I was actually hoping to see you around here. You were? Yeah. I loved watching old clips of your aunt on the network when I was growing up. But it was so cool when you debuted at Survivor Series and made it your own. I'm all about that. Yeah, and we have the same outfit. <sighs> Would have been cooler to win. What are you doing at SmackDown? NXT 2.0 doesn't take up enough of your time? Just doing some photo shoots and a little press. Honestly, it's been nice to be backstage at a show where I don't have to keep a lookout for toxic attraction. Not that I can't stand up for myself, but it's exhausting. Toxic attraction is just awesome. Anyway, want some help? Want some help? I mean, we need to get a match anyway, we can. If you're offering, yeah. Honestly, I think they're just jealous. They may be hot and talented, but they could never do what I do. For one, they'd fall off the skateboard. You don't mind coming to NXT 2.0? No, no, not really. We're not doing anything here. Not at all. It's not like I'm spread too thin with all my matches on Smash. No, right, you know. All right, so NXT 2.U. Huh. All right, let's begin our story in NXT. This is like the weirdest career trajectory. We debut in Survivor Series. Doesn't go well. Our first night in SmackDown, we get no work. And so we go to NXT to get some airtime get some screen time get some matches under our belt but it's fine i think it's better this way at least build ourselves from the ground up and welcome to nxt 2.0 and here we are we're finally gonna get our first match you guys the following contest is a tag team match set for one fall introducing first from kenya grace or team uh it should also go without saying that we are using the exact same moves, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I should go without saying. Uh, I've placed the same moves that I've placed on Billy in the Lock series is the same moves that I've placed on her, on Grace in the Legacy series. I'm not, I'm not about to learn a new set of moves. That was never ever gonna happen. So yeah, not learning a new set of moves. Gonna just be using the exact same moves, same finishers, same. Signatures, just same everything, but a different, a whole different storyline. And here's our tag team partner, Cora Jade. As you can see, we are literally wearing the same outfit, but we are wearing the same outfits, but just a little bit uh, changed up, just a little bit uh, spruced up. Like literally, it's almost the same thing. Looks like she's gonna also be a very good superstar. And it's actually nice because now that you're wearing the same outfit, we are basically the same team. We're basically a tag team. Say hello to Toxic Attraction, ladies and gentlemen. Gigi Dolan and JCG Toxic Attraction! I'm gonna start watching NXT. Ha, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I could even barely catch uh, the entire resume. I just watched the match between Charlotte and uh, Rhea Ripley. So glad Rhea won. And then I, I watched the matchup between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens against the Usos. 
and then after that i just waited for roman reigns versus uh, cody Rhodes. like those are the only three matches i watched oh and i also watched uh bianca bell air defend her road championship like those are the only four matches i watched on wrestlemania the, the rest i didn't even watch them Yeah, so yeah, like I, I have a very select few matches that I normally watch. So I'm not even gonna be sitting down and watching NXT. If I'm being honest. Anyway, take on toxic attraction with Cora Jade. That should be fun. Despite the injury we faced, I think we are going to do just fine. And despite the stupid uh, debut we had, I believe we are also going to do just fine. Nope. Nope. Oh, looks like a reversal. It is a reversal. Uh, I don't know, they should have just debuted me in NXT anyway. I mean, it looks like something great for me to do anyway. Hmm, maybe we can leave SmackDown and join NXT. Alright. Time to take out her partner as well. Because we can. I'm telling you guys, WWE made a very, Tuki made a good game. Tuki 23, my rise story is actually good. And playing it on the hardest difficulty makes it so satisfying when you complete a match, when you win it. It's so satisfying. Oh, what a move. Yikes. Uh, light work. Oh boy. Nope. Okay. Okay, was that really necessary? Nope. Oh lord. Night work. Nope. Nope. You gotta love our moveset. It's the exact same moveset on my other character, so you guys are very familiar with it. Oh! Fantastically done. Nope. Oh, she rolled out. Sneaky. Oh, nope. Oh, what is up? I see a finisher in your future. Oh, yeah. Wait, how did you wake up that quickly, though? Oh great, they've switched places. Makes it that much harder for me. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not tagging in my partners, I like doing the brunt of the damage with my character. I always believe that I can get uh, the brunt of all the damage done <coughs> Excuse me, with my character. And then... I can use the tag team partner who's extremely fresh to just... Uh, Handle everything else. Yikes. Oh, that was not good. Okay, Cora, please keep yourself fresh. You are the X Factor. Come on, Cora, need to keep yourself fresh. You are our X Factor. That's why we are keeping you fresh.
All right. Things are going good. Things are not going good. Nope. Oh, they tagged in. All right. We start again. Oh, she's all red. Oh, this I like. This I like. Nicely done. You might actually not even need to tag in Cora. Oh, I'd be killing it in the next team. Okay, that did not work. That did not work as well. I'm I'm just trying to get her out. <laughs> not necessary, man. Yikes. Oh lord. Yeah, we might need to tag in Cora to be honest. Nope. Oh, come on, I... I absolutely reversed it. I know for a fact that I absolutely reversed it. Oh, Cora, no. Man, we are all red. Ha. Please. That was very unhelpful. Anyway, Cora. Well, at least she has the same movesets. I don't think she might have the same movesets as us. You see, this is why you keep a fresh X-Factor. You do all the damage with one, and then the fresh X-Factor takes over. Has a very easy time of handling everything else. Oh, nicely done, Cora. Nicely done. I mean, look at how fresh she is. Plus, you know, it is her beef. She's the one that has beef with them. So it's only ideal that she be the one. Oh, she's actually also a move thief. I like. Oh, that has been reversed, definitely. Nicely done, Cora. Okay, she does not jump on the ropes like I thought she would, but it's fine. All right, she's stunned. We just take her out. Who knows, maybe she will tap out. Wow, she is very, very tough. All right, time for the finisher. You lost. Are you kidding me? Playing in the hardest difficulty sometimes is just insane. And she's fresh. That's a good thing. <laughs> Respect.
Oh, get it fast. Oh boy. Yikes. Nope. All right. Let's try this one more time, shall we? Nicely done. Okay, we, let's try win this, shall we? There we go. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. You finally get an, some in ring action and we win. You gotta love it. Here's to hoping for more success. Here's to hoping for some more success. Alright, so we are almost checking out the time of the recording. We are almost at an hour in, so we shall do one more matchup. And then this will be the first episode of our, you know, debut of, of our series premiere on the Legacy storyline. And it should be fun. I'm seeing good things in our future, if I'm being honest. And yeah gonna be fun playing all this side by side you know the main story with the one that i'm playing as billy and the other one when you're playing as our life why why is sami zayn over here ah uh, we probably she probably still doesn't want to deal with us i do not know about sami but let's let's see what sami wants i hear the powers that be are conspiring to keep you off of smackdown i wouldn't say conspiring I would say anyone is conspiring against me, but I am trying to prove myself to get a match. Yep. You call it proving yourself. I call it fighting the powers of the malicious arms of WWE management. A power I have been a victim of many times before. Hang in there. Us persecuted need to stick together. Mm, I mean, sure. Thanks, I think. Okay. Very pointless conversation. I've got some good news for you. Okay. You've actually got a match for me this week? Actually, yes. Really? Wow, I wasn't expecting that kind of good news. Thank you. I should clarify. It's not on SmackDown, but at a non-televised live event. Dana Brooke was supposed to have a match, but she did one too many handsprings, sprained her wrist, and can't compete this weekend. Well, you know, a match is a match. A match is a match. And if it helps me win a little favor around here to step up, count me in. Winning the match would help you gain even more favor. Oh, no, that's an, that goes without saying. You know, it's a live event, so we're going to do this. It's going to unlock uh, an arena for us to use in our created stories and our created match face and all that stuff. So, should be fun. Now... Uh, Molly Holly is a two-time women's champion, one-time hardcore champion and WWE Hall of Famer who debuted as a valet in WCW before coming to WWE in 2000. After retirement, Holly has been known to be extremely supportive of other females. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, it's time for us to debut in a WWE live event that is not going to be televised, but it's fine. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Kenya, Greece. Ortiz. So we're gonna just simply win this matchup. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And once you're done with it, we shall be well, uh, unfortunately ending our series premiere of the legacy storyline. But it shall be back again next week. As I said, we shall be Stealing one of the days from our... Well, by now, if you're watching this, by now you already know the debut series, which is Uncharted 4. So we shall be cutting Uncharted 4 
short just by one episode though. just by one episode or so you guys won't be missing too much to be honest all right you're gonna be facing Carmela. Better ball. I did the better ball, but you know, he's right up there. All right, let's do this, shall we? Live event is a go. Nope. Mm-mm. We don't start matches like that, Camilla. We give our opponent some respect. Yikes. Okay, I guess uh, respect is out of the window. Try to regain momentum at the live event. Okay, so it was supposed to start off with us just getting moved, I see. But on Legend Difficulty, I can't tell if it's supposed to be us getting moved or it's scripted. Anyway, uh, let's try this. Why? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yikes! <gasps> I finally reversed this suplex. Oh, there's a first time for everything. This is actually a first time for everything. I'm impressed. Nice. Oh, Camilla, you sneaky minx. Okay, no reverse button. Okay, Camilla, you're gonna need to stop taking us lightly. That's not anywhere. Close enough to, you know, causing us issue. Wait, where is my reverse button? I have no reverse prompts. Okay, mm, Carmela, dude. Okay, I not dude. Carmela, <laughs> dude, that. Still too early to be pinning me. Yikes! Why are we getting dominated? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, finally! As usual, I will show you guys at the end of the episode. We did change it. I did show it even on video anyway, but I will just show it at the end of the episode so that you guys can see we never changed. Ah, uh, the difficulty, man. She's dominating us. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It's not set it off well. Ha! Psych. Oh, you gotta love the sunset flip power bomb. God, I love it. We are gaining control. Started gaining some control. Semblance of control at the very least. And I'm here for it. Okay, I spoke too soon. Ha! Huh. Psych. Finally gotten her into the red zone. Time for us to absolutely yeet. Time for us to absolutely... Oh, Lord, why? Why, Camilla? Why? Just let me beat you. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Still good. Still good. Okay. 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 That's none of that is nice, lady. None of that was nice. Awesome. Oh, she's stunned. We've stunned her. She can't reverse this finisher. Oh, man. Okay. They could not reverse that, unfortunately. Yikes. Oh no. Okay, she could she did not exactly hit it cleanly, so that uh brings it a bit into our favor. Yikes. Okay, I just had to. I was not confident on my tapping skills. Beautiful elbow. Alright, we just need one more finisher and we are golden. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Roll out, please, just... Oh no! She's blowing a kiss! Psych! Uh, to have the finisher. Okay, let's try. Oh, Camilla, you sneaky minx. Nicely done. Oh, she reversed! Oh lord, why, why, why? Why? We are the ones who reversed it. Why are we the ones getting punished for reversing it? What a move! Alright. Please don't reverse this, Camilla. Thank you. Okay, let's try this one more time, shall we? Okay, she did not reverse it this time. Oh, Camilla. We've won. We've won. We've won. We've won. It was quite a good matchup. I actually enjoyed this one. It was the right mix of tough and challenging. Loved it. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Alright. So let's see where this puts us in the ranking after doing that uh, live event. And actually beating a tough opponent. An opponent that was much tougher than expected to be honest. So let's see where it leaves us standing. Um, I can also tell that the next few episodes are actually also going to be pretty cool to deal with as well. It's a live event completed. We get six upgrade points. So we get to talk to 
Adam Pierce, Drew McIntyre, Eva Moreno as well. Uh, let's check our options, social media. So uh, it was so cool to see Escate at the WWE Live and she won. Seemed like a completely different person from Survivor Series. Anyone can get lucky, I guess. Hashtag ping do so. Eva Moreno is still not into it. Anyway, got some scoop. WWE holding a tryout at the performance center this week. Wonder if it's because certain recent hires and debuts didn't work out as well. Not even knows that. Uh, that uh, Korajed says it was sweet. Thanks for the assist. Uh, too bad that was a dark match. If that had been on TV, the WWE Universe would have loved it. Yeah. Probably too. Uh, so, real cute that Escati decided to pay a visit to NXT, you know, a place that I helped build, but a visit and a single match isn't the same as showing up consistently every week. Okay, she's really into, you know, blowing us up. Anyway, so Molly says we did good. Uh, Okay, this is for the 2K mock-up. We shall be doing that in the next episode along with this story as well. Uh, so, I'm not gonna... Let's uh, up, do some upgrades. So, okay, we can only add that. It's fine. Right, still leaves us at an 86 overall. So, uh, I don't want to do with... I don't want to talk to Adam Pierce because that's gonna lead into a one-off match and we're not into doing that right now. Let's see what Drew will say. Well, I heard you're making some waves lately. Waves in the kiddie pool, but waves nonetheless. Mm, maybe, but I didn't come to WWE to be in the kiddie pool. Didn't say that you did. Just like I didn't come to WWE to be pushed as the next big thing, only to be ultimately set aside and fired. Yeah, that actually did happen. Why did you bring up being fired? Is this supposed to be making me feel better? Sorry that way, but admittedly it took a turn. Sorry, I, I should have been more clear. I expected everything to be handed to me, but you're doing the work. Don't let up. Those waves you're making will be noticed. Okay, you should have said that to begin with, Drew. Alright, uh, let's see what Eva will say. Maybe she'll still blow us off. <laughs> I respect the effort. But it's going to take a little bit more than that to get a match with me, LJ. Alright, so we haven't yet paid our dues according to Ava, apparently. But yeah, so in the next episode, we shall pick it up from Adam Pierce. And then we shall pick up these uh, stories about the performance center so that we can get those done. And we shall be doing these two matches as well. But until then, this is where I'm going to leave you guys off. So stay safe, it's my weekend, tell some love today. And tomorrow, we are going to be back with some more The Lock storyline. So, catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man.